Almost the entire NFL is conducting OTAs right now, and we're going to be taking a look at the New York Jets and get a look at Malachi Corley. We're going to watch him run through some drills, catch some balls. These are from yesterday's practice and maybe from the day before. But before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're going hot and heavy on the rookies. We're looking at them from rookie camp, OTA, soon to be mini camp, and training camp on top of your favorite vets as well. So stop missing out on your favorite players, what they're doing in these camps. Click that button and check out what they're doing. But here we are. We're looking at Malachi Corley, 25 seconds of clips. I think I got three or four of them. We're going to take a look at what they're doing here at Jets OTAs. Working on the cuts and breaks here. Getting low. He's very sudden. One thing you definitely notice, he's thick, he's built, especially for a wide receiver. We'll talk more ball on him the second time we go through these clips, but he does have some good pop in his step too. Angles off the cuts really good. Limited drift. Everybody's going to have. Talking about Malachi Corley, I see him being the low ADOT guy, the guy getting the lower average depth of target, playing the slot being the outlet for Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he is the Yak King. He is good at getting yards after the catch. He's thick. He's tough to tackle. He's got speed. He's got burst. So him having to run like a full route tree isn't anything that you really need him to do because you got Garrett Wilson for that on the, on the outside. He's going to be the alpha. He's going to be getting a large target share. But Malachi Corley is pretty much going to be Aaron Rodgers' this thick boy Randall Cobb. That's what he's going to be used as. That's what he was drafted for, if you really think about it. That's what Rodgers always wanted. He had tried to always bring Randall Cobb along even after he was washed. So to think about that, they, he wants that. He needs that. And maybe this is going to be an indicator that Malachi Corley could get more opportunity than expected during his rookie season, especially he starts flashing early in camp. So something you may want to pay attention to. Maybe he gets some of those volume targets in certain situations, maybe some goal line targets as well, Consider, considering where he's at in the offense. He ain't going to be double teamed because you got Garrett Wilson on the outside there. You got Brees Hall also as an outlet. You're not going to double team him, so he's going to be getting some opportunities. So the thing about him, the distribution of targets, it's really hard to like compare him to like Elijah Moore or anything like that. Different quarterback, different quarterback. So he comes to the line. He knows the concept of the play coming up. He reads the, the coverage, whether it's man zone, whatever, and he goes with what he likes, and then it'll go off from there. So that being said, it could flow totally different, and it could go a little bit more to the slot, a little bit more spread around than what you think. So maybe he gets more opportunity, especially with him, with those capabilities of getting yards after the catch. That could allow him to give you some splash production, especially for Dynasty Fantasy Football if you got him as a lottery ticket. For a redraft, he's probably going to sit on waivers for a little bit. And if he starts flashing a little bit, then you're probably going to want to pick him up. And you're going to want to follow the channel for that because we cover the work rates, the targets, the air yards, the share of the air yards, the share of the targets. And we let you know when players are trending to start getting more production, more, more workload in their offense that could lead to production. We let you know about that in season. Another reason why you need to subscribe. But when I think about Malachi Corley, I think he fits well with Aaron Rodgers. I think Malachi Corley is a player that Aaron Rodgers wants. And I think he wanted him really bad. I think this is a great fit. I think he is going to be thick boy Randall Cobb in this offense. Production-wise, may not look the same though. But I think he'll be looked to upon that in the role when the targets get flown out. I think Garrett Wilson, like I've always said... We'll get spammed with targets. He'll get so many targets, that'll be insane. I'm talking 25, 30% or more. 25 minimum. I do not see him hovering around a 20% target share. I will consider it a very down year if he gets a 20% target share. I think 25 to 30%, maybe more. And we've seen wide receivers get a 25 plus target share. And a couple other ancillary pass catchers, Provide some productivity in fantasy, not be a lead or finish the season with a good points per game, but with some splash production here and there. And some with some good wide receiver twos, but it's not likely. But again, you want to watch the workload throughout the season, see what happens. Malachi Corley, a rookie who's in a good fit, in a good system for him. That could give him some upside. He's quick, he's twitched up. You're seeing it right here. He's got some power, and you're going to be putting him in the slots. And you're going to have a linebacker on him. Linebacker's not much bigger than he is. Weight-wise, yes. Strength-wise, what? 27 reps of 225 on the bench. Not all linebackers can bench that much. Not all linebackers got that strength. That being said, 
He's a workhorse. He works hard. We know that. And Malachi Corley is in a system that could allow him to buoy some production. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.